side bodies today and we're going to be using the fair band. This is one of my most favorite props because it is so easy to pack and take with you um, when you go on a trip or like here when you come to the beach. So it takes zero space at all and there's lots of fun things that we can do with it and it just mixes our routine up a little bit. So that is what we're going to be using today so you want to make sure you have that. I hope you enjoyed the view while we're going. This is, as you know, my favorite studio outdoors. So, all right, let's jump right into it. What I want you to do is you're gonna come onto your mat, turn right away onto your right hip, and then you're gonna lay down, almost all the way down, um, onto your forearm. So get your right elbow underneath your right shoulder there. Okay, we're going to get this strap in place, and actually I should have had us put that in place first so just open it up and get it underneath the ball of your foot and then you can come back down into that side position so let's keep a hold of the strap the ends of the strap with your right hand and then your left hand you're just gonna have on your top hip here the bottom leg is bent to give us a little bit of stability lift your chest nice and broad here take a big inhale and then you're just gonna bring the leg forward and swing it back so just starting by swinging the leg, use the strap to your advantage, meaning keep pushing out and away on the strap. So as your leg comes forward, you'll lose a little bit of the strength of that tension in the strap, but what you will feel is that it wants to pull your leg in towards your hip and you wanna push out and away on that strap. Oh my goodness, I need my sunglasses. <laughs> It's really bright out here. <laughs> I did that for you guys, I'm suffering. <laughs> Next time maybe I'll wear sunglasses, okay. All right, just keep swinging that leg as you pull it forward. Think of scooping your low belly, lengthening your pubic bone and your tailbone out in that direction away from you. So you keep that pelvis in a neutral position. Let's hold the leg back here and you're just going to turn your chest to face that front corner of your mat with both hands hold on to that strap. Press that leg out and away from you and we're just going to go little lifts and little lifts. Feel like you're lifting the heel up and back. Good. Little lifts. Keep this bottom side underneath you lifting up and away so make sure you're not slumping or falling into that supporting shoulder little lifts pulse it up good keep lengthening it away from that strap you got it let's go for three two one more bring it back in line with you bring that chest square facing forward again swing the leg just forward in line with the front corner of your mat here and touch it down onto the floor there's your little rest from here you're going to lift arc it up and back and touch it down arc up and forward and touch up and back and touch so really working those lateral sides here right everything around that hip in that glute so much of what is responsible for giving us a good healthy gait meaning walking running hiking all of that stuff taking away any of the stickiness that we can get in our hips when we sit a lot or drive a lot or travel a lot computer work it's the worst <laughs> desk work it's the worst good keep lifting and lengthening away all right one more time bring it in front here you go I want you to line it up with you from here we're gonna take a little rest down onto the upper arm bring your hand behind your head now your left hand has the strap bring your left elbow in towards your waistband lengthen this leg away and we're gonna go circles maybe the size of like a basketball so circling really try and get that circle nice and fluid reaching away we go for five careful that your left shoulder doesn't start to roll in on you so keep it nice and wide and open in the front shoulder blade pulling down in the back and now let's reverse we've got 10 if it's starting to burn 
so is it for me. <laughs> so we're together in this. Just enjoy the view. Think about the waves for four and three and two. Last one, we're not done, almost. Bend the knee in, plant your hand down here and then press out through your heel. Bend in, press out through your heel. Bend and press, bend and press. I see a really cute puppy. Actually, it's a dog, but it's a golden retriever. She's pretty. All right, here you go. Just so you guys know. <laughs> okay, ready for four. And keep that top waistband long. So don't, as you bend the knee, let the hip clunk up into your waistband with the knee bend. Keep it long here. Let's bring it, head comes down. And let's bring that leg, or no, head doesn't, yeah, head comes down onto your arm here. Let's bring that leg here. So press out through your heel and lift and lower, lift and lower. Now careful with this position because it's really easy here to let your tail tuck underneath you and kind of come forward with your leg. I want you to feel like you're sending your tail back behind you. So you keep your pelvis in a neutral position, which means your leg might be more down here. It all depends on your hamstring flexibility. If you're really flexible, your leg might be higher than mine. But the important thing here is that your pelvis is in a neutral position. Go for three and two one more time bring it back in line with you and let it rest down ah! okay so from here you guys go ahead and turn directly onto your back and switch around fiddle around a little bit okay and let your head just rest down let's let your right leg go long and straight grab a hold of that strap in both of your hands anchor your upper arms and your elbow down and you're going to pull that leg up for a stretch and then let it go away from you and pull it up and let it lengthen away so just kind of stretching that leg a little bit good bending in if you need a little bit of blood flow to come to it and here we go we're gonna go for our, our single leg circles okay let's cross the body first circle down out and around and lift up cross down out and around and lift now the strap here can make it a lot easier to circle what you want to do though is make sure that you are controlling the circle and not just letting your legs snap back up into place um, with the help of the strap so as you lengthen the leg away and you have more tension really push that leg out and then draw it up and in with your low belly pause and let's reverse so inhale circle out exhale around across and up also, the strap can help us to find a little bit more stability in the pelvis and waist below in the body. So make sure that as you circle that leg out around and over, you're not shifting through your hips or lifting up or turning. You really want to keep the hips square up towards the ceiling or the sky. You've got it. Let's go one more circle here and lift it up good bend it in i want you to bend your right knee and bring the foot in line with your sit bone here we are going to go into some single leg bridges lengthen that left leg long again point your toe take an inhale to prepare with an exhale you're going to push straight up with the hips lower down press straight up lower down pressing up lower it down two more press it up lower down one more press it up stay up you guys you're going to reach this leg long and down and lift it back up now careful as you reach long and down that you don't drop the left hip i think i just kicked sand into my mouth <laughs> okay so keep going ignore me just keep your alignment hips are high glutes are strong your ribs are connected the chest is not splaying open to the sky lift it up now articulate your spine down one vertebra at a time good job now reach that leg long and away at about a 45 degree angle extend your right leg long from here we're going to walk up the strap with our hands chin to chest round it up and then lift your torso at the top so kind of like a semi teaser and then round down walking down the strap let your head neck and shoulders rest all the way down inhale to prepare exhale reach your leg away from you as you scoop your belly in and back behind you 
and lift the chest at the top and one more time rounding it down resting head down and then again exhale scoop and lift good we're gonna hold it up here and from here we're gonna lift our right leg up and lower up lower up good job six this is kind of fun five four three two last one lower the leg down and then lower the torso down one vertebra at a time good bend it in plant the foot down you're going to turn back onto your right side so you can lift up a little bit good and then from here grab a hold of really the end of the strap you do need to have a long strap here you're going to bring your right foot um, just in front of your left both are down and we're gonna plant our hand here. So we're gonna lift up into a side plank from here. Arm goes straight up towards the ceiling. Now, if your strap isn't long enough, that's gonna put strain on your shoulder. So make sure your strap is long, otherwise your arm can go out towards your feet so there's no strain on your shoulder. Take an inhale to prepare. With an exhale, plant your feet down. Lift your hips up, it's shifty on the sand. And lift and bend to lower. I'm gonna resituate just for me because of sand, right? And here we go. You're gonna lift it up and bend, just barely flirt your hips over the mat and lift right back up. And down and down. Here we go, one more. Hold it up here. You're gonna lower the arm, lift, lower, lift one more time lower lift and bend the knees and lower it down okay so i got all situated with my sand here from here you can slip that strap off of that foot you're going to swing yourself around and we're going to go ahead and set up the other side so i'm just going to swing around here so i can stay facing you and i'm going to get that strap underneath my right foot there we go make sure it's even on both ends go ahead and bring yourself down first onto your elbow right underneath your shoulder hold on to that strap with your left hand now and line yourself up here let this leg be the height of your hip so careful that it's not higher and that it's not lower okay so it stays here we're going to inhale swing it forward exhale reach it back inhale forward and exhale back there's a lot of people at the beach right now <laughs> just happened to notice that okay it changed since i was facing the opposite direction <laughs> all right here we go so focusing on keeping your pelvis in a neutral position here and keeping pressing out of that strap good forward and back there we go so i like to think about the body really works with oppositional poles so what that means is that as your leg lengthens forward your tail should really be pressing back and you can find that's how we find more length um really the body really works with resistance ultimately in order to build strength as much as to build flexibility all right keep the leg behind you here from here turn Grab a hold of it with your right hand. Turn to face your, your chest to face the front corner of your mat. Little lifts of that leg back up behind you on that diagonal, front corner to back corner of the mat. Good, keep your belly lifting up and underneath you. Lift, good, and enjoy the scenery. <laughs> enjoy the waves, enjoy the noise of it all. Keep lifting, little pulses up reaching that back leg away from you four three two and one now bring it forward and just let it come down at the front corner of that mat here from here you can grab a hold of it again with that left hand here we go we're going to arc lift it up and back behind arc lift it forward so if you feel that that actually puts strain 
uh, a strain on your bottom shoulder to hang on to your strap depending on the tension just hold on to it with your other hand so i'm actually using both my hands here remember to keep lifting up and away from your bottom shoulder so don't come down to your watching tv position yeah and really arc up and forward up and back i should also say out right so we always want to be pressing out and away from that strap so we don't feel like our leg is being jammed into our hip but that we're creating space in the body let's go for three and two one more forward and bring it in line with you from here come down onto your upper arm hand behind your head your right arm now has your strap keep that leg the level of your hip we're going to draw circles with it the size of a basketball so make sure that every point of your circle gets hit if you had a pencil in between your toes and you were drawing a circle it's nice and fluid it's not shaky or partially straight in certain points good let's reverse your circle for 10 8 6 it's burning 4 2 I always think I have a side that's harder and <laughs> it always ends up being the side that I work at the end <laughs> instead of in the beginning okay so here you go you're gonna bend your knee in and extend so I just brought my hand up a little bit so that I don't lose complete tension in my strap as I bend my knee in and then press out and long with the heel as I kick my leg out I'm bringing my leg in line with my torso so that's your alignment I'm keeping the leg the height of that hip of my right hip good as I bend my leg I'm making sure that my hip is not caving into my waistband either so careful of that you've got it let's go for four and three here's the warriors and two I do this for you and one more do it for me too and you've got it okay so rest that leg down all right so from here we're gonna bring your going choke up on the strap a little bit bring this leg forward okay so here's where we're just gonna lift that leg now remember if you find that here in this position your pelvis is tucking underneath you or your tail then just bring your leg a little bit farther away from you so that's your most important thing here is your pelvic position okay so ready here we go lift for ten nine eight seven six really lengthen out through the tail lengthen out through the heel facing forward and two one good job you guys you did it okay from here turn onto your glutes facing forward and lay all the way down you're going to lengthen your left leg out on the on the mat and then you're going to grab a hold of that strap and we're going to do your single leg circle i'm forgetting what we're doing first on the side okay so grab a hold of it with both hands anchor your elbows down take an inhale let's cross the body circle down out and around exhale lift it up inhale really lengthen press against that strap and lift really anchor both of your sit bones into the mat underneath you the backs of your hips feel like you don't have a shift in weight from left to right as you circle around you're just stirring the top of your leg bone in your hip socket ready come to the top we're going to reverse inhale open circle down around cross and lift good think of melting those bottom ribs down towards the mat as you pull the leg back up and in and let's go one more good from here both hands grab around the strap and we're going to curl head neck and shoulders in start to press that leg against the strap and walk up lifting the chest a little semi teaser here and then rolling it down one vertebra at a time resting the head exhale curl head neck and shoulders press your ribs down scoop your belly back lift open the chest and the heart up and roll it down one vertebra at a time resting the head down again 
exhale round it up pull that belly in you've got it hold it up here reach that leg out and away from you here we go left leg lifts lowers up and down good ready seven six five four whoa three stay lifting the torso two last one hold it let it come all the way down and roll it all the way down good job you guys okay so from here bend your left foot in towards your sit bone and we're going to go up into our bridge keep your elbows down take an inhale to prepare exhale press that foot up lift the hips and inhale lower it down exhale up inhale down and and one more we lift and hold inhale lower the leg exhale lift inhale lower exhale lift go only so low as you can keep the pelvis stable and keep the glutes the pelvis um, tucked underneath you is what i want to say so pubic bone pulling to sternum one more time good and roll the spine down all right lengthen the leg long bend this knee in okay go ahead and bring it long let's do a little roll up here nice big inhale exhale chin to chest rounding it up pull against your strap and lift the chest opening the arms straight and wide to your side inhale reach and exhale open lift the spine up and tall inhale reach here we go for four exhale and good knitting those low ribs down towards your hips as you open the chest and lift the heart one more good okay you guys we still have our side bends to this side so bring your left hip onto the mat bring your right hand onto the edge of your strap i'm just building up some sand here so that my wrist isn't too much in a flexion okay and then we've got your what did we have here your left foot should be forward your right foot should be back when you're ready take an inhale to prepare with an exhale you're going to lift your hips straighten your legs lift your arm up that's it and then bend flirt down and lift back up and bend and lift back up so you're just hovering as you lower lift and lower i better resituate my sand situation here because i'm sinking okay there you go lift and lower hold it up arm down lift down lift down lift and bend your knees in and come all the way down good job okay let's face back forward to finish with some teasers so let's bring both feet into your strap making sure it's even on both sides and from here what we're going to do is you're going to find a position where you can rock back and just balance behind your sit bone so kind of like the rolling like a ball position just before you're about to roll we're going to balance here we're going to float our feet up off of the floor and from here i going to have to play with this to see the tension I need on my strap. I'm going to extend arms and legs up and bend in and lift into your teaser and bend in. So the nice thing about the strap here is that you can get a little more lift and opening in your chest hmm, than we sometimes get without the strap. So I can actually have a little bit more tension and lift and lower and up and down next one we're going to stay up keep the legs reaching out as you roll the upper body down head down inhale exhale scoop round it up lift pull the arms back behind you reach the arms forward roll the torso down and away from the legs and head down exhale scoop lift pull the arms up hold the arms here lower the legs lift the legs lower and lift one more time lower 
and a lift and bend the knees in and plant your feet down let go of your strap and you guys are done good job okay so you can give yourself a couple little roll out on the mat if you feel you want to massage the spine and I hope you have a great day thank you for joining me I hope you enjoyed the outside studio and I will see you next time